a practice test continued on page 102. Which equation represents the function shown in the graph? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to compare key points on the graph um, with y equals root x. So I'm just going to draw this and make it curled a little bit better. Okay, so um, and we'll take a look. If we look at key points, 0, 0 on the image, it's 0, negative 2. Another key point on our y equals root x graph is 1, 1. On the image, it's negative 1, negative 1. We have 4, 2. Becomes negative 4 and 0. So the overall width and height hasn't changed. So the graph hasn't been stretched horizontally or vertically. But from the orientation of the graph, it's been reflected in the y-axis. From the endpoint, the graph is translated two units down. So A equals 1, B equals negative 1, H equals 0, and K equals negative 2. And the equation transforms um, to the graph Y equals negative root x, root negative x, sorry, minus 2, which will give us choice d. Number 6. How do the domains and ranges compare for the functions y equals root x and y equals root 5x plus 8? Okay, well for y equals root x, the domain is x such that x is greater than or equal to 0. And the range is y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. And I should put here x is an element of all real numbers, and y is an element of all real numbers. OK, so for y equals root 5x plus 8, a equals 1, B equals 5, H equals 0, and K is equal to 8. So the graph of Y equals root X is horizontally stretched by a factor of 0 0.2. Okay, so... Um, horizontally stretched by a factor of 0 0.2 and 8 units up. So the domain remains the same. So the domain Better put this over here. The domain stays the same.
but the range becomes y such that y is greater than or equal to 8. So the choice would be only the domains differ, ranges differ, both domain and range, neither. So it would be B.